Hi everyone, it's Shanezi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel Nezzle and to another Nezzle Talk. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a bit of an average of what it costs to live in Grenada on a month by month basis. However, I want to make this disclaimer at the beginning so that it is clear that of course, this average is influenced by just a certain number of persons. I did a poll on my Instagram and asked persons to rate how much they spend on various things and I use that as a gauge in creating this video. Of course, Grenada has a population of approximately 100,000 people and so my poll is extremely small in comparison to that. The information in this video will not be representative of everyone by any stretch of the imagination. But I did try to answer this question a couple months back when I did a Q&A and a couple people told me that I was pretty far off. So this time around, I wanted to be more in depth and I also wanted to share from a wider pool so hopefully it's a little bit more representative. So if you find this video helpful or enjoyable, then please thumbs it up so that I will know that really helps me to know what you guys enjoy so I know what kind of content to continue making. And leave a comment letting me know your thoughts on it. Feel free to contribute to the conversation if you live in Grenada, if your figures are different, contribute so other persons can benefit, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you have not yet subscribed, then hopefully this video will convince you to do so. But if not, I have lots of playlists with vlogs as well as nestle talks like these, which I think you will enjoy. So check them out. And once you think that we're a fit, then subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you an idea of what your expenses might be like if you are living in Grenada. I have had people reach out to me who are contemplating moving to Grenada and they've wanted an idea of what expenses are like. So I'm going to cover things like electricity costs, grocery bills, internet, rent, mortgage, and hopefully it will be helpful to you. So let's start with electricity. For all of these, I did a poll and I put them in different categories. So I didn't ask people to state specifically how much they pay, but I asked them to put it within a range. And 44% of the people who answered my poll, which just to give you a number in case you're wondering, it's not a large number, as I said, it's just about 50 people who participated in the poll. But 44% of those persons said that their electricity bill falls between $100 and $150 per month. And for most of the persons who participated, their responses were for their entire household. And the largest percentage of persons indicated that their household comprised of two to four people. So I just wanted to include that as a gauge so you have an idea of what you may be spending. Of course, with things like electricity, there are certain things that you cannot avoid, which will not really be affected by the number of persons in the household. Things like your refrigerator. If you have the fridge on, it's going to burn pretty much the same amount Maybe just a little more if there's more things in the fridge because it needs to do a little bit more work to stay cold. But generally speaking, things like that are not going to change that much by adding one or two people to the household. Of course, there were some persons where the figures were just for them alone and some for much larger households. Getting back to electricity, a very small percentage of persons indicated that they spend less than $100 on electricity. And similarly, a small percentage indicated that they spend more than 250. So to give you an idea, I think the majority of people would spend somewhere between one to $200 on electricity on a month by month basis. Moving on to water, this one is usually not a very expensive bill that people pay. However, as of late, water bill has been rising. So the base rate has increased and Consumption, at least for me, I know my consumption somehow has gone up a lot. So water bills can range easily from like 40, 50, 60 dollars for me personally. But in the poll that I did, the majority of persons indicated that they spend between 40 to 80 dollars per month on water. Before I remember, we could have put like a hundred dollars on the water and it would last a few months, but now we have to put close to $80 per month 
usually at least in my household and based on the responses a lot of people are spending that amount and 23 percent of the persons who participated in the poll were paying more than 80 dollars for their water per month i then moved on to internet and the two biggest categories there were persons who spent less than a hundred dollars and persons spending between 100 and 150. so internet on average i believe for a decent speed you're not going to spend more than 150 dollars per month on it and just to clarify in case you're not sure all of the figures that I'm quoting are EC dollars Eastern Caribbean dollars but you can do the conversion to US dollars or to any currency that you use but I'm giving the figures in EC because that is what we use here on island I asked about cable even though I know that a lot of people are moving away from cable I personally no longer have cable it is way easier to just stream things like on Netflix or watch things on YouTube like you guys are doing now but there were persons who indicated that they do still pay for cable and use cable and the majority of those persons stated that they spend between $100 and $150 per month on their cable bill. Just quite a lot actually and I'm quite happy to not be spending that but if you are someone who loves cable, I know like my father loves cable, my aunt love cable so if you're someone like that then that will give you an idea of what your bill might be of course it depends on the package that you take you can take the basic package and it will be pretty low and you wouldn't have to spend as much as a hundred dollars it will be like i think maybe 60 something or so i can't remember don't quote me but less than a hundred dollars for the basic package but as you add on other channels and so it goes up now for the next category i asked persons about rent because i know that this one would be really important for persons who are thinking of moving here or maybe just thinking of coming for a while and doing an extended stay how much does it cost to actually live here so i asked about rent and i also asked about mortgage but i'm going to address rent first and the majority of persons indicated that they pay between $500 to $1,000 in rent. And the second highest category indicated that they pay between $1,001 and $1,500. So that should give you an idea. Most people are paying between $500 to $1,500 rent. But again, it depends on the area that you are renting in. I know that a lot of the SGU students can pay way more than that and depending on certain parts of the island, areas like Lansapine and True Blue and so, you can be paying double or triple that easily but the persons who answered the poll, most of them were within that $500 to $1,500 amount and once you're renting outside of like those touristy areas, you should generally be able to get a pretty decent place under a thousand or at least under fifteen hundred some of them may even be furnished but other times they may be unfurnished you just bring in your items so you pick which is preferable for you i then asked about mortgage and of course these figures are even higher again it will depend on the value of your property but the majority of people who answered the poll indicated that they were paying between one thousand and $2,500 per month for their mortgage. And there were some who were paying more than $2,500. All right, so you moved to Grenada and you wanna get around. How are you gonna pay to get around? You have options. I did two main categories. I just asked about bus, so persons who take the bus, or public transportation, and persons who drive their own vehicle. I did not ask about taxis and so because most locals do not use taxis. So that is the main reason that I did not indicate it. I know that in some other islands, lots of people use taxis and it's like a regular mode of transportation. But in Grenada, generally speaking, people will either use a bus or they will use their own vehicle or maybe get a ride with a friend or something like that. So in terms of bus, there were actually responses within three categories mainly. So about 24% of the person said that they spend less than $100 per month, but 45% indicated that they spend between $100 and $200 per month in bus. The amount that you spend on bus will depend on where you live, as well as how many buses you have to take to get to your destination. So in Grenada, there is not one flat fee for buses. The amount that you pay the bus depends on how long of a ride it is. If you're taking a short drop, then there's a flat fee for that. 
but as you go into the outer parishes the further you go the more that you pay so if you are contemplating moving to Grenada if you are living in the town side and let's say working in the town side or commuting within the town side your bus will be a lot lower than if you are living in the countryside and coming into town or living in the town and going into the countryside so bear that in mind but the Biggest percentage of persons were paying between 100 and 200 and then there was an almost tie between the number of persons who pay less than 100 as well as the number of persons who pay between 200 and 400. There were a couple of people who spend more than 400 but it was a small number. Then when it came to gas there were two major categories again. So almost 45% of the persons polled stated that they spend less than 300 and again that same percentage indicated that they spent between 300 and 500. So let's just say that on average, you're gonna be spending about three to four to $500 on gas, depending on what you're driving, how far you're driving, how often you're driving. You know, it's not gonna be, you know, any one person specific situation, but the gas price goes up and down, so it varies. And if you're driving a small car versus a bigger vehicle, all of that will influence how much you spend on gas. And in case you're watching this and wondering wow there's a lot of like specifics i want it to be really in depth so that if you are contemplating moving to grenada you have a really good idea as to how much to budget and how much you would need to have in order to comfortably live here in terms of cooking gas most persons said they spend less than 80 dollars per month on that so that one is easy cooking gas is not that expensive so we'll move quickly off of that one now i also asked about top-ups how much do you spend on your cell phone whether you're prepaid postpaid how much are you putting onto your phone every month a lot of people in grenada use a prepaid plan but there are some persons who prefer to go the postpaid route where they have a bill every month regardless of what option they chose most persons were indicating that they were paying somewhere between 50 and 100 dollars per month some persons of course who are under that persons like me who don't put much money on their phone and a couple of people were over a hundred but that was the average then we came down to groceries and the biggest percentage of people actually indicated that they spend between 200 to 400 dollars per month on groceries which is pretty low to me i mean some people did state that they pay between like 400 to 800 a few people said more than 800 but groceries can add up quickly I tend to do a tally of my groceries every month. If you saw my finance video, I told you guys that I like to take note of everything that I spend money on. So every time I go to the grocery, I make a note of how much I spend. And I've noticed that it's so easy to spend four, five, six hundred dollars by going either from grocery store to grocery store or just over the period of a month you keep popping in to buy things so bear that in mind and be prepared to spend anywhere between 200 and i'd say 800 dollars per month in groceries of course it depends on what you're buying if you're used to buying a lot of the brands that you get overseas it will be higher if you're buying a lot of locally produced things and getting things maybe from the farmer's market or from the market in town and so then your grocery bill will be a lot lower and then the last category I looked at was eating out how much do you spend eating out I know a lot of people enjoy being able to buy some food on the roadside go out to dinner treat themselves and so I wanted to give you guys a bit of an idea as to how much people spend eating out here in Grenada I personally can find myself spending quite a bit of money eating out because it's easy to spend $10 here, $20 there, and it adds up. But the two largest categories where persons indicated that they spent on eating out was either between $50 to $150 or between $150 to $300. So let's say anywhere between $50 to $300, you could kind of budget if you're someone who likes to eat out. Again, you will tweak it to suit. So if you don't eat out that much, you know you may spend on the lower end of that scale if you're someone who loves to eat out it may even be more than three hundred dollars because food can be expensive in Canada. it depends on where you go if you're eating on the street then it's not that bad you may pay like ten dollars fifteen dollars for something on the street but if you're going into restaurants and so then that price quickly doubles or triples but if you want to eat out a couple times a week then you'd want to work that into your budget so by using the averages of all of those categories persons are easily spending about 
2000 to $2,500 a month on their expenses. And this actually correlates with the responses that I got from the poll because when I asked persons how much they spend monthly, the range was actually from $1,000 to $2,500. I really hope these figures were helpful and not confusing. I know using the poll might have been or could have been a little confusing, but I wanted to get a lot of persons responses at least a lot more than the one that i had for that q a video so hopefully you have a better idea as to what it might be like if you move to grenada of course your personal preferences and lifestyle and everything will definitely affect it but this is just to give you an idea so a thumbs up the video to let me know that you enjoyed it that you found it helpful leave a comment letting me know your thoughts on it and please subscribe to join the Nezzle fam. This is an awesome family to be a part of. You can ask persons in the comment section. I'm sure they'll tell you that we're awesome over here. So subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.